So as a fixed piece of equipment, no one actually stocks these um, made up. So what I've been doing is buying these separately from a company called Farnow that do sort of medical panel bits and bobs. And that gives you the point where you can clip the renal dialysis unit to its separate earthing um, cable that I have to install. So what I'm gonna have to do is drill that out, um, go for the click because it, it runs with the sockets that I use and then it looks quite nice because you just end up with that on there. So I'll show you that, I'll make this up now actually. So I've been struggling like mad to find the right bit of buzz bar for this. Um, what I managed to get is a Hagar, yeah, sorry. Um, as you can see, that's the RCBO that I've got to fit in there. And if you take the buzz bar off of its little cover, you can see if I fit it that way, it actually does go right to the bottom of the breaker there and it bottoms out. So there's more than enough copper there to bite down on. I just need to see whether this is gonna fit into the main switch because I'm taking up the main switch and my RCBO like that. So I'm hoping that that will go into the main switch and then the RCD will fit along, obviously not on this buzz bar. So we're gonna try and fit this rather than trying to find a Wilex one that only seemed to come with a brand new uh, fuse board, unfortunately. See that little cross on there? Don't know if you can see that. Just gonna get my cone cutter. What do you think? Shall I mount this vice in the back of the van? It's actually been really handy lately. So all I'm doing is I think that's about 20 mil. Very windy today. Okay, one more, one more step on the old drill. So they give you a little lock ring, as you can see on there, it's a little tab. So I just need to file that out so it sits in flush. So I'll just show you that. It's not actually sat in there flush. If you have a look, it's sort of cankered. So I'll just have to drill that out. Just have to file that out and I've got a little set in here actually. Not right. 
where the hell are those files? It's annoying, isn't it? Right, yeah. So the files are. Uh, a little square one there. Should take out the tiny bit of that material. Okay, there we go. So sat in there flush, like so. Okay, and then all you can see now is I used a whiteboard pen, so that rubs off of there. And then all we do now is put him in, get him to where he needs to be, which is there. <laughs> Sits in nice and flat. And then in the kit, they give you all the nuts that you need and the, the lock washers. But the one we want is this one, which we just tighten on the back there. And then you can grab yourself a set of long nose pliers or whatever, just to tighten those two rings up there demonstrate with my file like so and then there we have one earthing blank plate that will match the double sockets okay and then you just put your lug on there and crimp your earth onto there and then on here they give you all the washers etc for the job Okay, so your 10mm lug will go on there to a 6mm hole, 10mm lug with a 10mm earth straight back to the consumer unit. There we go. Morning everyone. So today we've got a little job to do. Um, unfortunately it's about 50 minutes from my house which is quite rare for me to have to travel that far but it's the nature of the job. Um, so it's a renal home installation, all I've got to do is put some independent power sockets um, two sockets and an, an earthing point, which I'll show you uh, when I get into the job. But first, we've got to head to good old tool station, done the click and collect. So we head over to Milton Keynes, get some bits. I've got to pick up some 10 mil earth wire, some trunking bends and some boxes and stuff. But I, I buy more than I need to generally and, and I put it in stock for the for the next one. So, yeah, let's head over there now and see you in a minute. Tool station doing their thing. It's all working well, to be honest. Yeah, so that was quick for you, wasn't it? Uh, it's about 50 minutes for me, that. Um, wasn't too bad. Weather's nice, there's no traffic. So I've got to wait for the client now, 20 minutes, and they're going to meet me there, let me in. They're going to go. Um, we're going to crack on. So see you in a minute. Well, I'm just sat waiting for the client. If you've ever done any driving in Milton Keynes, if you haven't got a sat-nav, um, you just get lost because there's about 355 million roundabouts and every other word on the sat nav is second exit on the roundabout so <laughs> it's quite funny but yeah if i if i didn't have a sat nav i wouldn't be able to find my way around milton Keynes. i know a little bit but but not a lot so anyway a couple of minutes there be here and we'll, we'll just crack on to be honest
foot circuit and a bond. Basically controlling two double sockets and an, an earthing plate that goes there that they can put on the machine. Yeah, it's going all right. Putting up the trunk in and putting these in with no raw plugs. These are great, buy loads of them. So I'm getting there now. All I've got to do is clean off the trunk in, do some testing. It's all lidded up and stuff. I was going to mastic it, but the guy said don't bother. Um, he's doing decorating and stuff. So yeah, it's weird. It weird. There's a guy up front doing um, fitness training, but it's got the like worst rap music on. Really nice for his neighbours, I guess. Right, just working through my iPad now, going through my tests, etc. Fill out on my iPad. This is the iCertify app that I use on my iPad. Okay, if anyone asks, save a comment in the section below. Don't you like that screen? I do. Look at that. Keeps it all on there for you. So we're going to record the highest times five, which is 19.6 milliseconds. Look, what does that say? What does that plug into? Ah! Oh dear, don't tell anyone. <laughs> 